Most carnivorous plants use nectar to attract their food. However, that same nectar also gets bugs drunk, and for some plants, it is also poisonous. So when Karen asked me if it could get a human drunk, we had to test it. Oh, look at that! Ooh! Should I try that bit? <laughs> I actually, I don't like that. What Karen just tasted was this. The digestive and sticky acids of a dewy pine. But the saddest part about tasting these is that they actually smell really good. This one actually smells like honey. So I might try this one. Ooh, look how sticky that is. Get close up of that. Should I just put my tongue in, into right, in right there? It's actually, it actually tastes like I'm eating a bar of soap. <laughs> but then the taste is like diminished. It's gone now. That was really weird. Should I try again? It's up to you. Oh, that's pretty nasty. Um, but I think this one's going to be worse. Because look, look at that. Look at the droplets on that. That is the King Sanju. It is the world's biggest sanju and has thousands of tiny globs of digestive acids just waiting to catch something. You tasted this when we were in South Africa, didn't you? Yeah. Apparently they're bitter. Yeah, don't ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No, that one's good enough, just do it. It is kind of bitter, hey? It's weird. <laughs> it's kind of like rocket in a way. It's like a bitter... It's there and then it's tiny. gone. Seeing as I thought it tasted quite bitter, it'll be interesting to see what Karen thinks of it. Okay, this is going to be disgusting. <sighs> oh, that's so gross. Oh. Proper, just bar of soap. <laughs> that's just like a bar of soap, straight up. I need to do it again because I've done twice on this one. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like someone just dispensed soap into my mouth. Gross. Oh. That's pretty bad. <laughs> um, the log logic side of me is like, well, the fly trap's not really going to taste like anything. Sorry, seeing you, I've already tried. So it can't be as bad as this one. Because this is like straight up bar soap. Do you want to try this one then? Saracenia, okay, let's give it a whirl. Only because I've tasted it before and I think it is sweet, so let's give it a try. So under the lid. Under the lid, yeah. Under the knees. Go towards the lid though. Oh! Okay, definitely sweet, but it's like a cat's tongue. <laughs> yeah, the hair's underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Saracenia have hairs under their lids, which helps them catch bugs by making it difficult for them to walk under here while getting that nectar. And the thing about these plants is that their nectar has conine inside of it, which is toxic and makes bugs seem drunk, like we saw earlier. So that toxic nectar and these little hairs makes it much easier for these plants to catch some food. And if anything is going to get Karen drunk today, it's going to be the stuff. Oh man, what? That's definitely sweet. That's like honey almost. It's good, eh? Yeah. So this one's last, eh? Yeah, the big boy. I want this to taste like absolutely nothing. Well, let's see. I just want it to taste like air. So it be the one at the front. Yeah. And then I want you to just... Now, as I start showing Karen how to hold the fly trap in a way we can actually see it, we have a huge problem with our plants right now. You see this greenhouse? Well, all my plants live in it and grow healthy enough to get hundreds of bugs drunk and addicted to their nectar every summer. But we moved houses two weeks ago and I plan to put this greenhouse in the front garden. 
that was until our neighbor saw it. They said it was illegal without a permit and told us that even if we applied for a permit, that they would oppose it, complain to council and mentioned that someone would throw bricks into it. Now, I will tell you about what solutions I have in our next video, but as fate would have it, Sansi reached out to me and sent me some of their grow lights. And seeing as they are used quite a lot to grow fly traps, it was honestly perfect timing. They recommended these 100 watt lights for some of our struggling fly traps. Oh, bloody hell. Which seems to be helping them right now, seeing as they have nowhere safe to live yet. So, if you need grow lights because you can't grow your plants outside, consider getting yourself some Sansi lights with the link below. And if you use the code TFG, you'll even get an additional 10% off. Thank you to Sansi for helping me out when I needed the most. Anyway, let's see what Karen thinks of fly trap nectar. Sorry, I moved it. I just needed to sniff it. Do you taste anything? <laughs> nothing! Really? <laughs> yeah, literally nothing. Nah, that, that's got to be number one. As long as it tastes like nothing, it's winning. There we go. Number one. Now, Karen was ranking these plants from her least to most favorite. However, the same plant she ranked number one has hypnotized hundreds of flies over the past two years with that nectar. And seeing as Karen has been tasting different plants for a few hours now, she might start to feel some of their effects in a couple of minutes. Oh, you made that? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, it's nice. I'm really warm. What are you? Are you warm? No, I'm. I'm alright. Yeah. Oh, thanks, sweetie. Why am I so hot? Probably because the plants make bugs drunk. Is that why? Probably. Am I drunk? Maybe. T can you take my temp? <laughs> Check. You're warm. You're actually sweating. What the hell? Do you remember when you tasted all of those carnivorous plants and you thought you got drunk? Yeah. Do you think you actually got drunk or do you think you just got like really warm because you were like busy moving around? Probably just got warm. So you don't think you got drunk? Nah, I don't reckon. Why not? Well, it's still silly. It's only like a little bit. But you, do you think if you had a lot, you, you might get drunk? Because that conine stuff is actually like toxic. Well, I'd probably get drunk and vomit. Would you do that though? Is that a yes? 